Hi there everyone, welcome to Technoholic. In this video, we will be talking about how you can install latest Mac OS Ventura as of now to the latest VMware Workstation Pro. Um, so let me just quickly open a VMware Workstation Pro and in this video, we will be skipping the installation of uh, Workstation Pro 17 because I believe that you already have installed it. And uh, since this is Workstation Pro 17, you know the latest unlocker as of now officially support vmware up to a workstation 15 so if i go here to this unlocker website here you will see that the version it officially support is up to version 15 but not to worry guys in this video we will see how we're going to unlock the latest uh, vmware 17 and we're going to install this macOS ventura and this video is only for educational purpose guys as we already know we never ever will able to get the native level of performance with the vmware machine at least as of now so without further ado let's get started so first of all what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna provide you the download link in the description of this video so that you can directly download these both uh, files and then i'm gonna unzip this one uh, which is unlocker and make sure that you have enough uh, you know data available while downloading these files because the macOS ventura iso is of 14.6 gigabyte so you at least need 20 gigabyte i would say because sometime it happened that there is a lot of losses of data so that's why at least uh, i would say 18 gigabyte is recommended now let's go inside this unlocker folder and now what we need to do is we need to run this win-install.cmd so make a right click and choose run as administrator so what it will do it will patch our vmware workstation and make it compatible with macOS. so now let me just go back and start my vmware workstation pro so now here i should see option to create os as macOS now what we need to do is we need to click here on create a new virtual machine now select typical click next now here you need to click on browse now we need to locate our macOS ventura iso that we have downloaded and i kept both in single folder let me quickly find it where exactly it is so it is in download compressed let me copy this path and we paste it here so here we go now just select this iso click on open click next and from here we need to select this is mac os x and the latest os as of now is mac os 13 so select that and then click next now you can give your mac os a name so i want to give like ventura and now let's click next now here you need to specify the maximum disk size so based on you know the storage that you have available you can specify or allocate storage i can see here i have 127 gigs free maybe i also should remove uh, some of my file because here the recommended uh, disk size is 80 gigabyte so as of now i'm gonna keep it as it is and let me click next and then um, you can click on customize hardware now here you can increase or decrease ram size based on amount of ram your system have in this system i have 32 gigs so i can you know specify 16 gigs and in terms of processor i can specify let's say four cores and let's keep all the remaining setting as it is now i'm gonna click here on close and then i can click on finish so here we have just created this configuration now let's click here on power on this virtual machine so we're gonna do this for first time and there we go we can see we have successfully started the macOS ventura setup now let's just wait for the setup to get installed now here we need to select language so you can select your language based on the region now before installing macOS 
we need to go inside disk utility to prepare this 80 gigabyte of drive and one more thing i wanted to tell you that you do not need to worry about this beta since we will be updating this mac os 13 beta to the latest version after we successfully install this disk image because you can always upgrade or update without any hassle from app store so let's click here on disk utility and click on continue now here you need to select this vmware uh, virtual sata drive and then click on erase you can give your drive a name let's say i'm gonna type my name and then click on erase click on done and now we can close this disk utility now select this option which is mac os 13 beta click on continue now click on agree select the drive where we want to install so we just have formatted this one now click on continue now we need to wait for a few more minutes Now let's complete this setup. Now here you need to choose your theme, I'm gonna choose auto and then click continue. And not to worry about graphics guys because we will be installing VMware tool which automatically will correct everything. Now let's close this feedback assistant and now um, let's install VMware tool. For that you need to click here on VM and then click on install VMware tool. And now it will ask uh, you know to locate the vmware tool so we need to manually locate it for that you can follow our vmware tool installation guide that i will be attaching in the description of this video that will help you and fix all the issues related to graphics that's all guys from my side in this video i hope you find this video helpful and informational if yes then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for such content and i will see you soon in my next video till then take care and bye bye